Universal Center for Renovation presents Historical Israelites. This is strictly for educational purposes and commentary of biblical and secular historical literature. So, enjoy. Subscribe, like, and share. This family tree represents two members of the research group, Universal Center for Renovation. Our family tree. Our family tree. Paternal grandfather and paternal grandmother. Father's parents. On the paternal line, Black Cherokee Indian. And on the maternal line, you can find Thomas Jefferson and Robert Fulton. Part 5 The Black Jews of New York Black Jews in New York City. Black Jews in New York City comprise one of the largest communities of Black Jews in the United States. Black Jews have lived in New York City since colonial times. With organized Black Jewish and Black Hebrew Israelite communities emerging during the early 20th century, Black Jewish and Black Hebrew Israelite communities have historically been centered in Harlem, Brooklyn, the Bronx, and Queens. The Commandment Keepers movement originated in Harlem, while the Black Orthodox Jewish community is centered in Brooklyn. New York City is home to four historically black synagogues with roots in the black Hebrew Israelite community. The Commandment Keepers, part of a series on ethnicity in New York City, black Jews, an ethnic group, not a religion. Dictionary Oxford Languages Ethnic Relating to a population subgroup within a larger or dominant national or cultural group with a common national or cultural tradition. Racial Race related, ethnological, genetic, inherited, cultural, national or cultural group. Nineteen twenty nine Moorish Zionist Temple seventeenth century and eighteenth century. Black Jews have lived in New York City since colonial times, with many having Caribbean Sephardi Roots Source Black Jews in New York Wikipedia Many having Caribbean Sephardi Roots Rabbi Mordecai Herman Mordecai Herman Mordecai Herman was a pioneering black Hebrew Israelite 
religious leader in New York City who founded the Moorish Zionist Temple at 127 West 134th Street in Harlem. A Caribbean immigrant to New York City, like other black Hebrew Israelite religious leaders, Herman believed that Afro-Caribbean people had admixture with Iberian Sephardi Jews. Rabbi Herman founded the Moorish Zionist Temple in Harlem in 1921. The belief that black people were the descendants of the biblical Israelites, Iberian Sephardi Jews, biblical Israelites. Nature knows no color line. J. A. Rogers. So dark were the Jews, especially of Portugal and southern Spain, that many whites thought all Jews were black or dark. Many of the Jews who were banished from Portugal by John II settled in the West Indies. John Bigelow who visited Jamaica in 1850, saw the descendants of these Jews and says they were Negroid. Banished Portuguese Jews found in Jamaica Negroid. In Jewish Historiography, however, Jao or King John II has become infamous for his persecution of the Jews who came to Portugal after their expulsion from Castile in 1492, as well as his order to seize Jewish children from their parents so that they could be converted to Christianity and sent to colonize the island of Sao Tome, Jamaica in 1850. The effects of 16 years of freedom on a slave colony by John Bigelow. Kingston contains about 40,000 inhabitants at present. Nine tenths of home at least are colored the proportion of Jews of all colors is fearfully great. I have never seen a black Jew before, and I was astonished to find how little the expression of the Israelitish profile was affected by color. Seventeen thirty nine Peace Treaty between Britain and the Maroons Captain Cujo of the Maroons My imagination could never have combined the sharp and cunning features of Isaac with the thick lipped, careless, unthinking countenance of Cujo, but nature has done it perfectly. If that can be called a combination in which the Negro furnishes the color and the Jews all the rest of the expression. Source, Jamaica in 1850, John Bigelow. John Bigelow was astonished to see black Jews in Jamaica. Atlas of Medieval Jewish History Chaim Ben Art The Jewish Diaspora and Their Languages Judeo Spanish Ladino Dutch 
Portuguese. Para Maribo, Suriname, Judeo Spanish, Ladino, Pa Nambuco, Brazil, South America, Judeo Spanish, Ladino, Judeo Spanish, Ladino, Dutch Portuguese. Ladino, Judeo, Spanish. Book. Fort Most, Colonial America's Black Fortress of Freedom. Kathleen Deegan and Darcy McMahon. Coming to America, Africans. The first slaves in Americas were not African, and the first Africans in the Americas were not slaves. Black sailors, soldiers, servants, and settlers arrived in the Americas in the 15th century, along with the earliest Europeans. These first black colonists were from Spain, rather than Africa, and were known as Ladinos. Juan La Canarias was a black sailor who served on Columbus flagship, the Santa Maria, during the first transatlantic voyage in 1492. Juan Las Canarias, Juan from the Canary Islands. Sixteen eighty Serenal South America twenty twenty two Serenal South America Ladino Serenal Jewish settlement in Portugal thirteenth and fourteenth centuries ever since Portuguese independence during the reign of Alfonso III, 1248-1279, the Jewish communities of Portugal developed their own unique organizational structure. The crown appointed a single head of all the Jews in Portugal, called the Rabbi Moor, Chief Rabbi, who in turn appointed seven regional heads, or Rabbi Manors, each heading one of the seven regional districts of Portugal. The Rabbi Moor, had a wide range of authority in supervising Jewish communal life. He was the intermediary between the crown and the community. He represented the latter for the crown and conveyed the crown's wishes to the community. He also advised the crown on matters of taxation and obligations imposed on the Jewish community. However, he was not a chief rabbi in the conventional sense, but rather a crown administrator. The 14th century was relatively tranquil for the Jews of Portugal, notwithstanding anti-Jewish agitation and church pressure. For example, with regard to the wearing of identifying badges and restriction of residence, although the anti-Jewish atmosphere fomented by the church resulted in the massacres of 1449, Jewish communal life continued to function unperturbed. A rabbi Moor, chief rabbi, Spanish Jewish communities, 1467, Ladino, routes taken by the Jews expelled from Spain, Ladino, 1492, Western Sephardic Jews. Western Sephardic Jews of Portugal and Spain. Evolution of their name change on the west coast of Africa. Number one, Sephardim. Number two, Besados. Number three, Criollo. 
Number four, Creoles. Number five, Atlantic Creoles. Number six, Luso Africans. Number seven, Negro Portuguese. Number eight, Black Portuguese. Number nine, Negro. Number 10, African. Number 11, Ladino. The Petite Cote Sephardic Communities in Cachou and Rio Grande region, Western Africa. Map of Coastal Senegambia region. Locating the three Sephardic communities. Source, the Forgotten Diaspora, Jewish communities in West Africa, and the making of the Atlantic world. 1680, Judeo-Spanish, Ladino, New York, Ladino, Atlantic Creole, Luso-Africans, Negro, Source Map, Atlas of Medieval Jewish History, Jewish Pirates of the Caribbean, our generation of swashbuckling Jews carved out an empire in the New World in their quest for treasure, religious freedom, and revenge. Edward Chrysler. On August 1st, 1492, when Christopher Columbus set sail for the New World, ethnic cleansing was the order of the day. 100,000 Jews left Spain, expelled as mandated by the royal edict of expulsion of the Jews. Those who remained behind or crossed the border to Portugal converted to Catholicism. The more adventurous went on to the New World. It is about this group that our story is told. Long before Spain was Spain, Jews were living there. King Solomon's trading post, 1000 BC, developed over the millennium to become Sephard, a strategic outpost of the Roman Empire. It was there in the first century AD that Emperor Titus, after conquering Israel and burning the temple, exiled thousands of Jews. But though the Jews of Sephard flourished, they were always tenants. The Visigoths, who replaced the Romans, made it illegal for them to own land. And Spain's subsequent rulers, the Vandals, Moors, and Catholics, found it expedient to continue the ban. Despite this and other restrictions, the tribe of Moses grew and prospered. In Spain's feudal society, Jews were an educated elite, a merchant class also respected as physicians and financiers. At the end of the 14th century, after some 1,500 years of residence, the 500,000 Jews of Sephard half of the Jews of Europe represented the oldest and largest community outside of Palestine. Their leaders boasted lineage to King David and considered themselves the aristocracy of Jewry. Sephardic aristocracy of the Jews, King David descendants among them. Jamaica. Christopher Columbus. Ten years later, on the very day Columbus set sail, Spain's monarchs banished her Jews to purify and thereby unite their nation. Jews settled everywhere they were permitted and disguised as Portuguese new Christians where they weren't. Jamaica, the island, 
was home to a secret Jewish community called Portugals, who have been living as merchants and traders since Columbus' son had settled the island in 1510. The Columbus family owned Jamaica, and in deference to their conversal settlers, had kept the island out of bounds to the Inquisition. But when the identity of the Dutch refugees became known, Jamaica's leaders, looking to oust the Columbus family, used the arrival of these suspect heretics to invite inquisitors from Colombia to Jamaica. Portugal or Portuguese or hidden Jews. Fearing an investigation of the refugees might lead to their own exposure, Jamaica's Portugals sent a note to Cromwell's agent. Jamaica could be conquered with little resistance, and they pledged their assistance. The following year, a Jew from Nevis led 36 English ships into the harbor, and two local Jews negotiated and signed a peace treaty surrendering the island to England. The treaty exiled the Spanish and Cromwell invited Jamaica's Portugal to stay on openly as Jews. World trade was unsurpassed. By 1660, Jamaica had become the Jews' principal haven in the New World source. Jewish Pirates of the Caribbean. The book, The English Conquest of Jamaica, Oliver Cromwell, Bid for Empire. No quotes, but the book is about the conquest of Jamaica by the English. The Lost Tribes, a myth. Similarly, Negro Jews once existed in Jamaica and Suriname as a result of extensive concubinage of Spanish and Portuguese Jews with Negroes. A very large proportion bear Jewish names but have generally lapsed from Judaism. A similar community sprang into existence in Suriname. 150 years ago. Negro Portuguese dialect with Hebrew words sprang up. These Suriname Negro Jews, having a dialect of their own, have not lapsed so generally as those of Jamaica. Like Portuguese, they spoke Negro Portuguese Hebrew language, Guinea speech. Sephardim with Inner African Ancestry Sephardim, Portuguese, Spanish, Jews Every Sephardi community where the Caribbean Sea laps a shore had some members who were of Inner African descent. Many were the offsprings of enslaved Africans some came direct from the Iberian Peninsula. Some few others had their Jewish heritage from West African communities suppressed as long ago as the 12th century. Suriname is probably the model of history in relations between white and colored Sephardim in the Americas. Enslaved from Iberian Peninsula, and from West Africa. Throughout the Caribbean, colored Jews went into eclipse, most assimilating into non-Jewish society, where it was possible to still do so with dignity. A few remain attached to Sephardi communities. Some of these migrated to the United States and formed the core the African-American Jewish communities migrated to the United States. 
1929 Moorish Zionist temple. Black worshippers were seen at the Balkan Judeo-Spanish synagogues in the Bronx and East and Spanish Harlem of the early 20th century. The Institutional Synagogue of Harlem had African-American Sephardi members, the Valentine family being the most noteworthy. Samuel Valentine spent his West Indian childhood as a crypto Jew, practicing only in the home to escape island prejudice against Jews. Samuel Valentine was instrumental in founding an independent synagogue for Jews of West African descent, Beth Benai, Israel, in 1919. Samuel Valentine and members of Beth Benai Abraham. Arnold Josiah Ford. Arnold Josiah Ford. Arnold Josiah Ford. 23rd, April 1877 to September 16, 1935, was a Barbadian American spiritual leader, recognized as a pioneering figure of the Black Hebrew movement. Ford founded the Beth Benai Israel Synagogue in a Harlem storefront and declared himself to be a rabbi. A Negro Briss by B. Z. Goldberg. Briss, the ceremony of circumcision. Rabbi A. Isaiah Ford, or Rabbi Arnold Josiah Ford. Jews, all kinds of Jews, Eastern, Western, Northern, Southern, Ashkenazim, Sephardim, Yemenite Jews, and still the list is incomplete, for there's at least one more to be added to the list, the colored Jew, that is, the Negro Jew of Harlem, who lives in the heart of New York's colored belt. The Negro Jews come principally from the British West Indies. There, they claim there were Jews and their parents and grandparents before them, not practicing Jews, perhaps, because the government was oppressive, but on coming to America, they returned to the faith of their forefathers. That is to say, in the West Indies, they were Negro Moranos, in some districts of the West Indies, though, the Negro inhabitants were never subjugated by the British. Left to themselves and segregated from other Negroes, they remained Jews. Benai Brith Magazine all American Negroes were Jews by faith in the forests of Africa. But just as they had forgotten their own tongues on the southern plantations, they also lost their religion. The Negro Jews say they have come back. They will not be called proselytes. They are not Jews only today but have been Jews always. Book New World Becoming Black Religion and Racial Identity During the Great Migration Judith 
Weisenfeld. This is from a statement from Rabbi Josiah Ford, or Arnold Josiah Ford. Yet, he ascribed most of the origins of contemporary black Hebrews to contact and descent from Sephardic Jews in the West Indies in recent history. Ford believed that his congregation's teachings came through its members' parents, but believed that their ancestors had suffered side by side with the Caucasian brethren during the Inquisition and the transatlantic slave trade. Rabbi Mordecai Herman When Rabbi Mordecai Herman would visit the Lower East Side of the 1920s, then teaming with Jewish immigrants from Europe, he cut an intriguing figure. He was a wizened black rabbi and former seller from Harlem who spoke Hebrew, some Yiddish, and was a pioneering spiritual leader of the early black Israelite movement. Now, nearly a century after his life's work, Herman has been memorialized on the streets of Jerusalem, a Jewish homecoming for a forgotten religious figure. This is thanks to an Israeli artist who has transformed Jerusalem Central Mahanes Yehuda Market into a pop-up art gallery, emblazoning the enclosed market's shuttered metal doors with over 150 graffiti portraits of iconic figures like Albert Einstein, Golda Meir, Rabbi Ovida Yusuf, and the biblical prophet Moses. On Jerusalem walls, artists memorialize black rabbi from Harlem. Historical evidence of Sephardic Jews of color. 